This time I will take a look at a little game called Sheep and Thief. It's a tile lane game with some card crafting in it and you can play two to four players. When we play it, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play. Let's take a look at how this game is played. Here we have an overview of Sheep and Thief, all the content in the game. You will get four player sheets and they come like this. You can fold them out. We have one start player card, four house cards, and four fence cards, and four thief tokens, and we have 56 cards, and we have 50 sheep tokens. Oops, one, oops. <laughs> they are, easy, they will easy run away, these sheep, so be careful when you use them. For the setup of the game, you will give each player a player sheet, a thief token, and it will be placed here, and then a fence, and you will place the sheep nearby so every player can easily reach them. You will take the house cards, and you will take the red house card, and the player that gets this card is the starting player. And if you are playing with three players, you will remove one card, so you have one house card for each player, and then you will shuffle the cards and deal one out to each player. Now let's say this player is the start player. And you will place one sheep token on the card. Each time you place a card that has sheep on it, you will place as many sheep tokens as the card has. The start player will receive this start player card. The game consists of three rounds, and in each round, we will play four cards on our sheet. So in total, we will be placing 12 cards. And each round consists of three phases. First, we have a drafting phase, where we will, in the first round, will pass cards to the left. In the second round, we will pass cards to the right. And in the third round, we will place cards to the left again. And after we have drafted cards, then we will place play cards to our sheet, and when we have all our players have placed four cards, then the start player card will go to the next player, and we will be dealt for four new cards. So we again have five cards in our hand. When we play three or four players, we will start the game with five cards in our hand. If we are playing as two players, we would receive six cards. And in a three and four player game, when we choose a card in the drafting phase, then we will choose one card to keep and give these past these four cards to the next player. And then in the next, next time we would receive four cards and take one card and then three. And when we have five cards in our hand, we are done with the drafting. If you play as two players, then you will have six cards on your hand, and you will choose two cards and pass these four to the other players, and then you would receive four cards from that player, and choose two and give two to the other player, until you both had six cards. But you would also only be placing four cards on the sheet. And then, at the end of your turn, you would have two cards in your hand, and you will discard one card and receive five new cards when you're playing as two players. In the game, you're trying to score as many points as possible. The player that scores the most points after the third round will be the winner of the game. And you can score points in three different ways. Each sheep is worth one point. And if you can connect from your house to this city up here, you will receive five points. If you can make a connection to this city, you will earn 10 points, and to this city would earn you five points. Another way to score points is if you make uh, water connections. So if you have like this, each water card connecting to another card is with water is worth two points. 
So in this case, these two would, would be worth four points, and this po card down here wouldn't score us any points because it isn't connecting to another water card. That's the way you can score points in the game. You can score points for your sheep, or for water connections, or connecting to a city. There are some rules when you have to place cards from your hand to your sheet. The starting player will start the first round and place one card to his sheet. And you can only place a card connecting to an existing card. So in this case, I could place a card here or here in the first turn. You cannot place a card diagonally. So I could place this card up here as my first action and then The other players would have their turn, and then when it becomes my turn again, then I could place, um, I cannot place this card here. When you place a water card, it has to connect to water. It cannot connect to a road or to anything else. Um, I could place it here or here. You can place um, cut off a road if you want to, but you cannot cut off water. It's allowed to place the water tile connecting out of the board to the edge of your sheet, but you cannot place it here. So I could place it here, and then later on if I got this water tile, I could place it down here and try to see if I could make a water way and score points that way. Each time you place a card with sheep on them, you would put the corresponding sheep tokens on them. And remember, each sheep is worth one point. If you place this card with a cottage on it, the cottage is a safe place for, for your little sheep. It can, your sheep cannot be stolen by the thief if you have a cottage on it. If you place a card that has a dog on it, then you may move all sheep from one card to another card. So I could move all these two sheep up here so they would be safe and couldn't be stolen by the thief. If I play a thief card, if there are cards with one or two thieves on them, if there are two thieves on the card, then I have to move this token two times. So if I moved it up here, then I would lose my own sheep to the general supply. So you would try to avoid moving the thief on the spaces where you have a sheep on it. If I move the thief over here, like this, then I wouldn't lose my sheep because I have a cottage. When you move the thief, then all players have to move the thief as well. The thief will, on all sheets will be on the same spot. So if I moved it here and here, and if any of my opponents, they had a sheep, that was unprotected on this spot or on this spot, then I would receive their sheep. So I might have stolen sheep from my opponents, and I would place them up here in my fence. When you place a card, you cannot place a card where the thief token is. It can happen in the game that you have cards you cannot place on your sheet. This card I can't place here because of the thieves, and because of the water going up, I can't place it here, here or here, and the same goes for this card. I cannot place it here, here or here. I would have been able to place the card here if it wasn't for the thief. So when you are in, in the rare situation where you cannot place a card, you would place one of the cards face down and you wouldn't get the action you had on the card here. You wouldn't receive the two sheep. After we have played three rounds and have placed 12 cards, we could have a sheet that looked like this. Then we would score points. To count out your points, you would count how many sheep you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, The water we have, remember, you have to have at least two cards connecting. In this case, we would earn two, four, six points plus 23. So we had earned 29 points on this sheet. 
all the other players would also count their points. If two players they have the same amount of points, then the player with the most sheep would win the game. This was a quick look into how sheep and thief is played. I think it's a great little filler game and it can, it's a very quick game to play. One thing though, it takes up a lot of space. The, the cards here you have, they, they are quite huge and each player will have to have space on the board to place this um, player sheet. And I'm a little concerned with these player sheets. If you, we play it a lot, will it break? Will it hold in the long run? I don't know if, if it will. So maybe you could print one yourself and put together. But the good thing is it doesn't take up much space. Um, and you have these sheep, which they very easily can run away. Um, they are very light. That doesn't weigh much. I have replaced these sheep with wooden sheep in my game. So they won't move easily. You can do that if you want to. <laughs> if you like Karuba, I also think you will enjoy this game. Um, you have different strat strategies you can choose from. You can Maybe you will go for uh, connecting a lot of water tiles. If you do that, then it will be harder for you to connect to the cities. You might be able to connect to one or two cities and then make a water road. That would earn you a lot of points. And you will also try to see if you can get some sheep because they also earn you points and you can use the thief to steal the sheep from the other players or to block a, 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 them from placing a card. If you can see, oh, they are trying to go to this city, maybe I can place the thief over here and then they can't connect. They would certainly have to move the, the thief first before they could lay a card in that space. In this game, you have to look at what your opponents they are doing and see if maybe the thief is coming too close to your sheep and you have to play some dog uh, cards so you can remove your uh, sheep to safety in where you have a cottage or something. It's a good little filler game and I think if you are into that kind of game then it might be that sheep and thief would also be something for you.